project is a non-profit foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash Berlin Explorer. So welcome to 50 Minutes of Experience and today I'm uh, with uh, Patricia Pitzke. Patzke. <laughs> yes, oh. hi. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, her daughter, <laughs> right? So, uh, Hi, talk about some of the experience you had in photography, and for before that, I would love that you can introduce yourself a bit uh, for the people that doesn't know you. Right, um, I'm a analog photographer, and um, this is basically what I really, really, really love and do all the time. Like almost, like only, I just shoot analog photography. And um, I started like many years ago. Um, actually, I'm a hairdresser and makeup artist, and I dived into photography through being on set many, many years and seeing so many other photographers working. And I always had my own vision of the shooting and what I would love the picture to be. And after a lot of disappointments when shootings came out differently than expected I just kind of started to take the camera and I thought okay then I'm going to shoot this picture myself because I have a vision you know yeah. and yeah so I just started um photography like autodidact as an autodidact and I started digital but um at one point I realized that analog is the only way for me and the stuff that really makes me really like I'm like wow every time I shoot film every time I get my results And um, whatever I do, you know, wherever I am, it's always a challenge working on film. It's never that easy, but this is also what like makes me keeps me going in photography because it's yeah, it's also the technical technical challenge, you know, how to manual focus on a fashion week backstage for for example, when people are like, You're shooting film here, it's dark and people are moving. Why the heck do you do that? I'm like, Because it's it's nice, you know, and it works and you can do it and this is also what I love about it. Yeah, it's a surprise yeah. every time, no? To 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 also develop and see what what come out from because uh, yeah, most of the time I I have many experience in analog uh, that the picture doesn't come out or they come out totally different from what I shoot it before. Yeah, 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 true. So you said true. usually you shoot with uh, yeah. many when you have to do it the work in photography, you shoot with many films, no? Yeah, a lot of film. So I usually, I never only use one camera for all my shootings, whatever I do, if it's like a portrait or um, landscape or fashion week backstage stuff, doesn't matter. I um, I always shoot with many cameras. So I usually have three small format cameras and one medium format camera. At the moment, I'm using a Mamiya, a small Mamiya 645, because it's handy for me as a woman, you know, with this um, grab like I have for it. And I, I love my, actually, I shoot my grandfather's Praktika a lot, which is a little bit like a Minolta, the small, the, um, the small format camera, 35 millimeter film. And this, ca this camera has a really good lens. This is a, this is a secret about it, actually. It has this uh, size lens, which um, does the job, actually. And um, people are, my, the camera supplier I go to, he laughs about me. He's like, Go get a good camera, girl. Why do you always coming back with these practical cameras to need to get them fixed, you know, because I destroy them a lot. And I, I think yeah. I use one per year. And um, I'm like, you know, this is the point. I'm, I'm going into a desert and shooting it. I'm going into a rough place shooting it. I'm driving with my motor scooter and shooting it, you know. So I, I, I wouldn't carry my Leica to the beach on a stormy day. So why? But then I take my practica and it's impressed what the pictures came out with this camera um, over the years. So yeah, so I'm using yeah, them I mean, mostly all in the same time. I, I agree to shoot with this camera because I like to. I have some of these cameras and uh, I like a lot to use them. Uh, I mean, for me, I always say it doesn't matter what camera I have in the hand, <laughs> and uh, and it's uh, most of the time uh, about uh, more the feeling than uh, than the camera. It's not doesn't matter if the camera is a high quality camera or not. I mean. 
depends Absolutely. of the client. Uh, I mean, I also... Absolutely. But, uh, mm. but yeah, most of the time, a client doesn't give a problem and then uh, you can shoot uh, what else you want in the way you want with the phone, with the, with the analog, with the digital. It's the same. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Sometimes the client doesn't even know that it's analog that I work with. They see my portfolio and they're like, oh, cool, I, wanna, I, want, to, I want that style. And I go on set and um, come with all these films. And they're like, wait, but you also shoot digital? I'm like, no. <laughs> like, it's, but this is digital picture. I'm like, no, this is an analog picture. And, you know, I for sure can use my Leica as well if I want to have, like, crystal, crystal clear uh, photos, you know, and um, super sharp, uh, clean things. Um, not the point, you know, it depends on the light. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so totally. Totally. Right? And uh, do, do you develop the picture by yourself? I have no time at the moment for nothing. Okay. <laughs> um, I did, I did years ago. Black and white, I did a lot. Um, but color, I am um, in Berlin. There are many good um, photo labs. Yeah. So here in Berlin, you know, it's so easy and cheap to get them developed and scanned and everything. And But I for sure have my labs for certain films. So I drop my black and white films to the one lab, to the one guy, and I drop the color films to the other lab, to the other guy. And I'm like, hey, you take care of it, right? You know, so I know who's doing a good job on which product and I spread my films out all over the town. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 yeah. Uh, it's sure. It's, uh, it's, there are a lot of uh, uh, good developer here in Berlin uh, that, yeah, we can uh, do it really at least really long about. Uh, and uh, I have yeah. seen most, most of the, the picture you do it is uh, most of the time there are uh, portrait uh, also if there are then also some uh, kind that we can say landscape. I don't want to say landscape, but more travel picture, we can say. Uh, so kind of, yeah. Some, to go some, there. Moment, uh, some moment uh, with yourself, we can say. And uh, this connection with the water <laughs> and, um, and the sea. There is a lot of connection yeah. with the and sea, and uh, this is uh, for some kind of reason uh, because you come from uh, somewhere uh, where there was the water, or is it just a connection you discovered after? It's really cool that you um, that you noticed that and that you asked about it. Actually, so the name of my daughter Sue is Turkish and means water, and um, and she is. Baby daddy coming home. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, I, I lived in Fuerteventura um, last year, like the whole year, like through all the pandemic, I stayed on the island. Um, I stayed away from civilization kind of to, I don't know, whatever. It just happened. I didn't plan that. And um, what made me go to Fuerteventura, the island in Canary Islands, is that I'm a surfer, actually. So I surf since many years and I always travel for surfing. So um, this was my first connection to, to, to the ocean and to, like, I, I always want to be at the ocean. I always want to be at the beach. And I always thought, oh, one day when I'm old, I'm going to live by the sea. And then I realized, why waiting till I'm old? I, just, I should just move my ass, you know? Yeah. And um, then I ended up in Fuerteventura when the um, pandemic started, when the lockdown started in March 2020. And I just went for a one-month surfing holiday and I suddenly um, realized what's happening in the world. And I was like, okay, I don't want to go back to town. I, I think I'm just going to stay here. And my job as a makeup artist and hairdresser was locked. So I wasn't allowed to work. So I thought, okay, I can, like, I can go back for no work and being in my apartment or I can stay on a beautiful island and enjoy the, and wait till the shit is over, you know? So I did that and I had all my equipment with me. I had like a, a big bag full of films with me and I was like okay so I have all, all everything I need for sure I was been, I was planning to work with other people there and to dive into productions and to find models for my ideas and for my concepts and there was no one no meeting people no finding people no whatever no teams no nothing no productions so I started to um, use myself which I usually don't do I don't I'm so comfortable in front of the camera I don't mind. I'm not shy. You know, if friends ask me, I'm like, yeah, okay, do it. But, um, I, you know, I'm not like, hey, take me first, you know. So I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. But then I thought, okay, I'm in the most breathtaking locations and I want that shot to have that naked body in there, to have that woman walking the road or to have that girl sitting, you know, there um, undressed or whatever and taking this aesthetic nude, you know. So I took myself and I realized all my cameras have um, self-timers and I was like, okay, then... 
then I'm going to be the model and the photographer. And so yeah. I started to to take all these self portraits as a yeah, spending my time in lockdown as self therapy, as technical challenge, and um, yeah, and as expressing my love to nature on this island and on the beautiful sea, you know. So and I wasn't I was in a little village in the middle of the island between some volcano mountains i can't show you exactly where i was actually because there's nice. something hanging here in my living room Hold on. <laughs> I couldn't. Uh, how can i here turn around camera okay the camera won't turn around okay <laughs> sorry no i'm almost gone okay i messed it up it's okay. hmm. So I've seen that you have also, uh, yeah, I've seen that you have also these other two pages uh, on Instagram that are uh, Sweet Spot Berlin and uh, Sweet uh, Sweet Spot uh, Fuerte, right? Fuerte. Yeah. Uh, Correct. Oh, yeah. Let's, let me do it like this. So stupid. So I've, and, been, I've been staying there actually. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. In this kind of landscape. And I've been exploring it um many, many weeks and yeah, I've been just um out there and this doing all really the stuff cool. and for sure and the when the when the lockdown ended and I was able to move around again on the island, I, I for sure also met my friends and started to ask other women for me to pose for my series that I'm that I've been taking and especially at the beach and you know, in the yeah. water and stuff, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I mean, all, all of your work is based, for example, on on, on woman. Uh, I mean, I have seen probably three, four men in in all of your work. And, I shoot uh, men. I shoot men. That's not the point. I was I, I I was forced by my one gay friend to shoot a naked man, and I was like, oh, do I really have to do that? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, and it turned out amazing. So yeah, yeah. But, but I know also. So totally difficult to find uh, the right subject uh, as men. Uh, I mean, also me in Berlin is really difficult for me to find the men doing modeling and uh, mm -hmm. they, I mean, they have the aspect of someone I want to shoot picture. Sometimes I, I would love to to take picture of, uh, you know, a man not really older, but uh, after 50 years old uh, with this, uh, you know, uh, yeah mix of uh, of beauty is a is a bit you know um how to say rude, rude probably or yeah or, i know or yeah, used, I know. used in a way But it's um especially because i'm coming from hair and makeup uh, it also um it's for sure that i have more inspiration from women you know so yeah. because um i'm also a stylist and i'm also thinking about the hair the makeup the styling and you know i, I worked in that industry for so many years so when i take these photos i also do the hair and makeup most of the times and i create the whole concept like i'm doing the styling i i'm creating the look i have the idea and um i do all of that work and the people are like my models are like oh so you also do my makeup that's cool i'm like yeah i'm usually a makeup artist oh but you also take the photos yeah, yeah. I'm a photographer now too, so they're always confused and in the end I'm the whole team and I enjoy every step of this creation a lot, but for sure women give me more inspiration, I must say, um, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's really, <laughs> I think it's it's a really good that uh, you can uh, express yourself in uh, both ways and then you are able also to, to in the end, uh, advertise yourself in the way you want. This is really important yeah. I think, uh, to be... I mean, it's, it's, it started uh, the same for me. I was doing, uh, I'm, I'm a creative, uh, total creative. So I work with every tool. It doesn't matter for me if it's photography. For sure, I developed then in you the You see, year, there are no borders. You, you're just diving. Yeah, 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 yeah. I developed for sure in the years uh, a passion uh, to be a curator. Uh, and then I studied a lot to, to make yeah, the yeah. Editor curator, uh, to improve my uh, reading of photography. But... Uh, in the same way, for me, That's photography, yeah, it's also a tool that uh, you have just to practice every day and uh, and uh, see yeah. Yeah. results. Oh, can be but I think we all are not just create. Yeah, we are. We are. We all are not just creative in one thing. We all are like, if you are a creative soul, then you have many, many, many talents. And the question is just, what do you follow? No. Yeah, so, I mean it's it's uh, it's uh, everything about the time uh, you want to spend in the way you want to spend the space uh, you have. Uh, it's uh, everything about that. Uh, 
Um, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 it's it's a really simple life thing, no? It's a, uh, there are people doesn't want they want to do it just one stuff and then uh, they, they want to close themselves in a structure as saying uh, that I do it just one job, okay? But in the end. Uh, even if you, I don't know, go at home and cook a lot, it's uh, like you're doing mm -hmm. two jobs in mm -hmm. the end, you know? So it's Ooh. the way you want to spend your time in the way you want to you wanna learn uh, and also you want to explore yourself, yeah. you know? And uh, in this it's way, lot, yeah. it's also a way to explore ourselves, explore what you want. we want uh, to really get in touch with and uh, to connect with. So it was really nice to, to meet you and to see you. Uh, I hope to meet one day in Berlin. Wow. We are in Berlin. Um, Please. And uh, yeah, for everyone who wants to see the work of Patricia, uh, they can uh, follow the link in the description. And if you want to get in touch Thank you so much. podcast, there is a last link in the description for a voice message. You can comment, cool. cryptic, or where else you want to add your point of view just add and thank you again thank you so much what amazing meeting you finally and thanks for your work and for representing all this creativity thank you thanks for listening to our podcast learn more about our project at allmylinks.com slash berlin explorer or visit our instagram and follow berlin explorer project